Wobbler syndrome is one of the most common conditions of the cervical spine seen in large and giant breed dogs. The term is used to describe cervical spondylomyelopathy, a multifactorial disease process that affects the spinal column of the neck, causing compression of the spinal cord and resulting in a wobbly walk. Signs vary with severity and duration of spinal cord compression, but Wobbler syndrome most often leads to weakness in all four limbs. However, signs may be much more obvious in the rear limbs. Signs may include wobbly walking, stumbling, scuffing of the feet, a two-engine gait where the front and back legs appear to be moving at different speeds, signs of neck pain, and in some cases, paralysis. Multiple factors can lead to the development of wobbler syndrome, but one key abnormality in dogs with this condition is narrowing of the spinal canal, which predisposes the spinal cord to compression. And due to its prevalence in certain breeds, there's likely a genetic component. Common abnormalities contributing to wobbler syndrome include narrowing of the spinal canal, abnormal development of the spine, degenerative changes to the spine, thickening of the ligaments and or bones of the spine, and or bulging discs. There are two types of wobbler syndrome in dogs, osseous or bone-associated and disc-associated wobblers. Osseous-associated wobbler syndrome is most common in younger giant breed dogs with an average age range of one to four years and its poster child is the Great Dane. While it is multifactorial, it's primarily caused by thickening of the bones that make up the spinal canal. Disc-associated wobbler syndrome is most common in older large breed dogs with an average age range of six to 10 years and its poster child is the Doberman Pinscher. It is also multifactorial, but primarily involves a bulging disc. Older dogs can develop degenerative disc disease where the intervertebral discs that sit between the bones of the spine begin to deteriorate and bulge. In cases of disc-associated wobbler syndrome, a bulging disc is pressing on the spinal cord in an already narrow spinal canal. Diagnosis of wobbler syndrome is best achieved with MRI. MRI is more accurate than any other diagnostic tool in identifying the site, severity, and cause of spinal cord compression. And it can also help us recommend the most appropriate treatment for an individual patient. Treatments focus on managing pain, controlling inflammation, and relieving spinal cord compression. While there are both medical and surgical options, recommendations depend on the individual patient's case, including the type and severity of compression, as well as any prior response to medical management. Medical management is often recommended for mildly affected dogs and dogs that are unable to undergo surgery. Medical management of Wobbler syndrome may include restricting activity, anti-inflammatory medications, pain medications, physical therapy, adopting a low-impact lifestyle, using a chest harness instead of a collar, and adjusting the height of food and water bowls. Surgical treatment may be recommended for dogs with more severe signs and dogs that are unresponsive to medical management. Surgical treatment of Wobbler syndrome may include decompressive procedures to remove any bone, soft tissues or discs compressing the spinal cord, and or distraction or fusion procedures to stabilize the bones of the spinal column. Cervical spondylomyelopathy, or Wobbler syndrome, is a progressive disease with no one set way to manage patients at this time. Although dogs initially have a positive response to treatment, symptoms may progress over the long term, making the overall prognosis fair. However, early diagnosis and management can slow the disease process, improve comfort, and enhance mobility, restoring a dog's quality of life.